what's up guys so in this video I'm going to show you some very cool but hidden features on Android so let's get started the first hidden feature is available on Google Play games whereby if you carry out these certain gestures you'll unlock the Easter egg so just do up up down down right left right left so the menu will pop up and then click on B then A then triangle so you'll unlock an achievement whereby it says all your games belong to us so the achievement doesn't do anything special but it's just fun to try it out and unlock it the next hidden feature is booting into safe mode so all you have to do is hold down on power off and the menu will pop up saying reboot to safe mode so what safe mode does is that it disables all third party applications so that you can remove any harmful applications or any viruses from the device and this can be very helpful especially if your device is lagging or freezing a lot the next hidden feature is saving a web page as a pdf file on your device on google chrome so all you have to do is pull down the menu and click on print if you're not connected to any printer it will show you an option for save as pdf whereby you can change some settings such as paper size color that is black and white or color and portrait or landscape and then just click on the PDF icon and it will save it for you then you have to choose where you want to save it so just click on save and you're done and then you can browse the, or access the PDF file very easily on your device the next hidden easter egg is also on Google Chrome whereby if you try loading a web page and you're offline you'll be shown this menu with a dinosaur pick so all you have to do is click on the dinosaur and a game is activated whereby the dinosaur will run and some cactus will come so you have to keep on jumping over the cactus to avoid getting out and don't try tracking your high score because after you quit chrome the high score is reset but it is quite fun to play when you're bored for the next hidden feature we'll go to settings and go to about phone whereby click on build number about seven to eight times and you'll activate developer options then go to developer options and look for allow mock locations over here then just click on it and allow it like turn on the switch with that now you'll be able to fake your location with applications such as fake GPS which allow you to spoof your locations as you can see fake your device GPS location and this uh, fake locations work on very many different apps and can be very helpful sometimes or can just be for fun your wish the next set of hidden features are also available in develop options whereby just look for these three menus whereby it says windows animation skill transition animation skill and animated duration skill so just make all of them 0.5 or if you have a device like mine make them 0.3 or 0.2 so what this does it makes the device snappier as animations will become faster another thing you can do to improve performance and uh, improve your battery life for your device is go and scroll down to this menu for apps and set the back, uh, background process limit to at most four processes this will limit the number of background apps and will help improve your battery life and also it will give more RAM to other apps the next hidden feature is unlocking offensive words in Google Keyboard. So all you have to do is go to text correction and uncheck block offensive words. So now you'll be able to swear easily and it won't be autocorrected by Google. Now we move on to the uTorrent Android application whereby if you're on the main menu and you continuously shake your device, you'll activate the hidden Easter egg for Snake. It's the Snake came from those really old keypad phones we used to use back then like about a million years ago and you can actually play it but it's really slow and the, you can't change the speed or anything and it's not really enjoyable so you could instead just take screenshots and post it on Instagram, Twitter or any of those places hashtag throwback Thursday next we have some really cool features hidden in the accessibility menu so the first one is magnification gestures whereby if you turn it on you can triple tap on the screen to zoom into that area and then you can use two fingers or more to drag around then triple tap again to zoom out so it's a very useful feature especially if you have problems reading small text next is high contrast text over here if you turn it off 
as you can see the text will be less visible but if you turn it on all the text will become more visible and make it contrast more with the background next is color inversion so what this will do is that it inverts all the colors in the system as you can see the black background just became white then there is color correction so if you switch it on then choose the color correction mode you'll be able to ch uh, change colors of uh, certain colors in the system like it just concentrate on this switch now if I choose uh, blue yellow over here it will change color when I choose red green it will also change color or you can just switch it off so you can uh, there also have some other features such as speak passwords or captions or even text to, uh, to speech output last but not least we have the major Android system Easter egg, which is available on like almost all Android versions. All you have to do is go to About Phone and go to Android version and continuously tap on it. You'll be shown this menu whereby if you're on Android Lollipop, there'll be a Lollipop figure and if you continuously keep on tapping on it, it'll change color. But if you long press on it, a game will be activated which is similar to Flappy Bird but now with an Android logo. And they're Lollipops and if you hit them, you're out. As you can see, it's not really easy and it's quite hard. Surprisingly, it's even harder than Flappy Bird. So do try it out. And uh, it's also there on Marshmallow, the same game. So try it out and share your high scores. That was all for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. And do hit the like button if you enjoyed the content. Also, leave your suggestions in the comment section below. By the way, did you know that if you hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel, you'll unlock an Easter egg?